Hey guys, Captain Smash, Smash Strength Lab. We're here in Smash's lair. We're discussing alcohol and how alcohol can affect your metabolism. Now, like, I'm a big fan of my whiskey and my red wine, as many people know, and uh, I'm not really willing to give it up. So that's one of the key reasons why I got out of bodybuilding. I just, you know, I, I like to be able to eat a nice burger. I like to be able to drink my wine when I want to have a wine, and I like my whiskey. Um, but some things you need to be aware of if you're if you're really trying to get ahead with your fitness game is like alcohol can stall your performance dead in its tracks especially when it comes to fat loss um, alcohol basically is a toxin for the body and at, at seven kilocalories per gram it's essentially like intaking a fat um, when we're drinking alcohol even if you're staying with the clear liquors and the very dry uh, wines and whatnot they still have a lot of excess calories which have to be consumed and metabolized by the body or broken down and, and used um, in, in, our, in our body's tissues. Now what happens is when alcohol gets into the bloodstream, which it bypasses a lot of metabolic stuff that other foodstuffs don't have access to, it gets right into the liver and the liver's got to process that stuff. And basically the liver is going to take care of the alcohol before it takes care of anything else. It's going to work on that alcohol until it's done, release it into the circulation so that it can get absorbed and used by various tissues that can kind of absorb that stuff. And meanwhile, it's clogging your metabolic machinery. It's clogging up um, your mitochondria. Your mitochondria are having to work extra hard to filter through the alcohol that's been packaged in a protein barrier and you know cycled through that stuff and it's a it's a lot of stuff that I've kind of I've learned and I've forgotten a long time ago but basic end state is the liver's going to deal with that stuff first everything else that you consume all the fat all the carbs all the you know all the fiber all that other stuff it's just sitting around there just getting waiting in a spin cycle to get digested and what ends up happening is while your body's processing a large amount of alcohol nothing else in your metabolism is working so you're basically shutting off your fat burning furnaces for sure while you're chewing through a whole bunch of alcohol now you can circumvent this if you're only having like one one or two drinks a night which generally tends to be pretty good for insulin sensitivity but the problem is most people are having more than one drink a night and plus they're having it with some form of like they're drinking a beer which has got a load of carbs they're drinking a daiquiri which has got a load of sugar you know that they're not just having like a, a glass of red wine or you know a whiskey on the rocks or something like that they're loading it up with other stuff and you know that's natural like what do you do after you go out on a drinking drinking bender like you know you go to the first greasy spoon you can find you order up a side of eggs hash browns pancakes bacon and a side of toast and you wash it all down with a glass of water like you know like and and that's how we deal with it and that's how the fat just starts piling on as we age is like you know like um, in the in the blog post that I wrote, I wrote about I wrote about Julie who's you know struggling with her fat loss and she doesn't know what's going on going on, and yet she's consuming a whole bottle of wine in the process. So it's like, well, it's kind of a no brainer here. Like you know, is it menopause? Is it my hormones? Well, no, not really. It's it's basically that you're just over consuming an alcoholic product and your metabolism is shutting down while you're trying to process all that alcohol. Now, if you're in a caloric deficit, you can make this work. Like if you're only drinking alcohol every night and that's all you're eating, yeah, your body's gonna process that and it's probably gonna be black and dark on the inside, but yeah, you're gonna still look thin, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be healthy. And so uh, the solution is moderation. As with everything, everything can kill you, everything has a lethal dose, everything has something you know, that like we can enjoy it, but we can't overuse it. And alcohol is definitely one of those substances. So if you're really apt to out to lose body fat, and you know you're participating in a physique show um, you just you 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 blew up and you've got a lot of weight to lose then stay away from the alcohol it's not that hard you just need to limit yourself cut it down to the bare minimum if you need a drink ha try to focus on having it one time a week or with special occasions you know i mean like i'm a big fan of being able to live through this process cuz like you know alcohol is a fun thing like you know it kind of takes the edge off it's nice to get together with your friends have a few drinks and whatnot but if, if that's your goal, to lose fat, then you need to avoid it for as long as possible until you get to your goal. And then you can start cycling it back in however frequently you feel is necessary. And you know, just be careful that you don't overdo it again and balloon back up to the previous spot that you were in. 
So the insight is alcohol is not, not a horrible thing, but it does kill your metabolism. It's going to take a little bit of a hit on your hormone level, and it's going to stop performance goals and fat loss goals from happening. So if you're after those things, decide what's more important and move out. All right. If you like this video, give it a like. If you think somebody else needs to see it, give it a share. Thanks so much. Chat with you soon.